Well, as happy as I've been with this bike, there's been one thing that's been bugging me lately. The newest bikes, rather than coming with um, with the cantilever brakes, most of them are now coming with the um, with disc brakes. So that's the going to be this project. I'm going to be changing out my um, my wheels, my shifters, brakes, all of that. What I've got here is I've got a new set of the Avid Elixir disc brake set, front and rear. Um, new shifters from Shimano. These are the XT, so these are not integrated. My other set is integrated. So with new levers here, I'm going to have to change that as well. And then what I did here was got some new Mavic rims. I was really happy with those other Mavics, so I didn't see any reason to change. These are upgraded a little bit. They've got the flat aerodynamic blades. And of course, it's got the mount for um, for putting on the uh, the disc, which you need. This is the the rear the cluster will be mounted there, and then the disc on this side. And then I've also got the front wheel. So um, looks like um, Mavic Cross Ride, and um, I don't know if it's just their own hubs or not. But I didn't um, really check into that. My other bike or the other wheels, the Mavic X. Um, X517s, I got those with the Shimano XT hubs, and I've been really happy with those, so I hope hope that these are at least of uh, equivalent quality. Alright, on the first part of this brake conversion, I've decided to start on the front, so I've just started to disassemble the existing XT cantilever brakes, and of course I'm going to keep those in great shape because I'm hoping that there's still a market to sell these on uh, on eBay um, with a complete shifter and brake lever cluster with the cantilever brakes. It should be a great upgrade for somebody else. They're still completely in great shape and should be usable for years to come. So um, that's the first step, just removing all the old. Okay, I'm going to start the installation of the disc brake onto the front rim. Um, again, this is the Mavic Cross Ride disc brake rim and with the um, flat aerodynamic spokes. I'm really excited about these wheels and I think I'm going to be really happy with them. Uh, the first instruction on the Avid instruction sheet was to install the disc and it says make sure you put the logo facing out so I've made sure I do that. Um, and of course they supply all the the bolts that you need and they even give, imagine that, a free little wrench. That's amazing. Um, okay, so anyway, I'm going to put this on. Okay, I've got the Avid disc mounted on the Mavic rim. And um, I'll tell you what, it didn't take me long to get tired of this free tool they give you. I um, immediately went out and got my, my nut driver with a Torx end. You know, I've got a great little set of, of small bits that have just about everything in it. It's a great thing to have, um, kind of get you into in and out of any bind. So um, that part's done. I did notice one little thing I didn't think of before. My old rim has the speedometer. I'm hoping that I can adapt that speedometer magnet there. It, um, you know, these were round spokes, and the new wheels have the flat spokes. So that's something I'm going to need to think about, and hopefully I can get the speedo magnet on there. So, if not, well then that's something else I'll have to upgrade. One thing that Mavic did really nice this time is on my old X517 rims, I didn't get rim tape with it, and so I had to go out and buy some aftermarket rim tape. Now, um, oh, also one other thing is they included skewers, and I didn't know they were going to, so I'm on the fence now whether or not to use my XT skewers or not. So back to the rim tape. The new Mavic rims came with a really nice kind of a nylon rubbery rim tape that was really easy to put on. Um, <laughs> took me back a few years because I can remember um, at least on one occasion, maybe more, that I used up all my dad's electrical tape um, on my old Stingray, which uh, didn't make him very happy. I'm sure nobody else out there has done anything like that, right? They even marked the uh, rim tape with a exterior, so you know you're putting it on right. Um, seems like kind of a duh thing, but that's it's a nice little touch. 
So some good components. Okay, now we're at the stage where I've got the the disc mounted on the rim, the <clears throat> very dirty tires remounted on the rims, and I got a little bit of air in there. I'm just going to let this sit for a little while and um, go put the caliper on. So this was ready, with the exception of my decision on the skewers, um, this is ready for mount. <laughs> 